Good evening. Welcome to Evening Prayer on Saturday, the 27th of June. My name is the Reverend Paul Lavender. I'm the Senior Pastor at Mount Pleasant Baptist Church. It's good to welcome you this evening. Trust you've had a good day. The weather's been mixed. I suppose like life in many ways. Um, there's been good parts and the sun's been out and it's been raining too and there's been lots of cloud. But as we come towards the day's close, I pray that you've known the presence of the Lord with you. And that now as uh, you prepare to lie down to rest and to sleep, that you're aware of the love of God and the presence of the Holy Spirit with you right now. Let's bow our head, shall we, as we pray and remember the presence of the Lord with us now. Psalm 66 Make a joyful noise to God all the earth. Sing the glory of his name. Give to him glorious praise. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Because of your great power, your enemies cringe before you. All the earth worships you. They sing praises to you. Sing praises to your name. Come and see what God has done. He is awesome in his deeds among mortals. He turns the sea into dry land. They pass through the river on foot. There we rejoiced in him who rules by his might for ever, whose eyes keep watch on the nations. Let the rebellious not exalt themselves. Bless our God, O peoples. Let the sound of his praise be heard, who has kept us among the living and has not let our feet slip. For you, O God, have tested us. You have tried us as silver is tested. You brought us into the net. You laid burdens on our backs. You let people ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, yet you have brought us out to a spacious place. I will come into your house with burnt offerings. I will pay you my vows, those that my lips uttered and my mouth promised when I was in trouble. I will offer to you burnt offerings of fatlings with the smoke of the sacrifice of rams. I will make an offering of bulls and goats. Come and hear, all you who fear God, and I will tell what he has done for me. I cried aloud to him, and he was extolled with my tongue. If I had cherished iniquity in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. But truly God has listened. He has given heed to the words of my prayer. Blessed be God because he has not rejected my prayer or removed his steadfast love from me. Thanks be to God for his word. Let us pray together. Almighty and gracious Heavenly Father, we are overwhelmed that you love the world so much that you did not spare your only Son but gave him for us all. We rejoice that he came revealing your ceaseless love and your mercy. We praise you that though he is the eternal Lord, he took our human flesh and lived among us as perfect man. To see him and to understand him is our greatest joy and fulfilment. We thank you for his coming, his teaching and his life, and praise you that he went through death, bearing all our sin, that we might be forgiven and brought back to eternal life and that we might live in the warmth of your inexhaustible love. And so at the end of this day, as we give you thanks, we give our lives afresh to you, and pray that you would breathe new life and power into us, confirm our faith and establish us in your service, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Most merciful God and Father, give us true repentance for our sins, Open our eyes to recognise the truth about ourselves, so that acknowledging our faults, our weaknesses and our failures, we may receive your forgiveness and find in your love the encouragement to make a new beginning, for the sake of Jesus Christ our Lord. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. So we are reading through the book of Haggai at the moment, 
And this evening we read from chapter 2, verses 1 to 9. In the second year of King Darius, in the seventh month, on the twenty-first day of the month, the word of the Lord came by the prophet Haggai, saying, Speak now to Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, son of Jehozadak, the high priest, and to the remnant of the people, and say, Who is left among you that saw this house in its former glory? How does it look to you now? Is it not in your sight as nothing? Yet now take courage, O Zerubbabel, says the Lord. Take courage, O Joshua, son of Jehozadak, the high priest. Take courage, all you people of the land, says the Lord. Work, for I am with you, says the Lord of hosts. According to the promise that I made you when you came out of Egypt, my spirit abides among you. Do not fear, for thus says the Lord of hosts, once again in a little while, I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land and I will shake all the nations so that the treasure of all nations shall come and I will fill this house with splendour, says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine and the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. The latter splendour of this house shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place I will give prosperity says the Lord of hosts. Thanks be to God for his word. So, Haggai is looking both back and forward, looking back to the glory of Solomon's temple, but also looking forward not just to the renovation and the rebuilding of the temple that's now in ruins, but he's looking to the very end of time. This is the apocalyptic promise, you might say. This is the promise that God is going to set all things right. And he's going to do it not just for the people of Israel, but for the whole world. Isn't that wonderful this evening? That as we know that there are so many things in our world that are wrong, things that are broken down, things in our society, maybe in our families, in our communities, in our own lives that may lie in ruins, God is in the business of rebuilding. And he can bring greater glory uh, by his Spirit's power than what was there before. Why? Because the silver is his and the gold is his. He is the God omnipotent, the God all-powerful, the God almighty, and all the nation's wealth, all that they may seek to do, uh, cannot stand against his power. No, no one and nothing can stop the Lord almighty. God's temple will once again be made glorious. And if tonight you are feeling as if your life is in ruins and that God, as it were, has departed from you, you're not aware of the Lord's presence. Maybe you feel a doubtful this evening. Maybe you feel that your faith is weak. Know this, that God can bring restoration in your life too, no matter what you're going through. Thanks be to God for the promise of what he can do through Jesus Christ our Lord in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. 
Let's bring our intercessions to the Lord. Let us pray. This evening we begin by praying for the church in Tunisia, especially those who work there in partnership with BMS World Mission. We pray that the church there may be a light to the nations and that believers would be known for their love for one another. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray tonight for all those who are in bondage to phobias and fears, whose prisons are real. Holy Spirit of God, you can open the doors to freedom in your own time. Replace fears by faith in your upholding companionship. Deal with apprehensiveness and moments of sheer panic by your calming presence. Give us all your patience, love and vital strength that our tendencies to be paralysed by our circumstances may be met by our true confidence in Jesus Christ our Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for ourselves now and for those we know and love in a moment of quiet prayer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We share together in saying the Lord's Prayer together, in whatever language or form is common for us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and for ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, we give ourselves into your hands. Grant us grace to see you, to know your way, and to feel you near. Find us now in the quiet and hold us fast through the darkness of this night. For the sake of of Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you and with those whom you love, with God's people everywhere this night and forevermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me for evening prayer tonight. I trust that you know the Lord's blessing as you lie down to rest and to sleep. Please keep praying for one another and please keep praying for me. Until we meet again tomorrow morning at 9am, when we also have Kids Church at 9.30, and the service for everyone at 10.30. God bless you, and good night.